The city is getting three quarters of a million dollars from Washington, D.C. in hopes of reducing juvenile crime. It comes on a grant to treat mental illness seen in the majority of youths who are coming through the juvenile court system. Meg Ferris was there for that announcement. It's welcome news to the Orleans Parish Juvenile Court. It is one of only 11 in the country to get a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice to establish a mental health court system to treat young people involved in crimes. And what we learned is up to 89% of youth that are in secure care here in New Orleans or have a mental health challenge. Those youth come to us every day, and this is an issue in our court that currently is unassessed and unaddressed. Chief Judge Derensburg says the program should begin in January to assess and treat the adolescents who come through the court system. It comes at a time when mental health experts say the crisis is rampant. Our children are not okay, and neither are we. But the sooner we can talk about that, the sooner we can end the stigma that's associated with mental health, the sooner we can get better. Those in the treatment field say a proper diagnosis is key. The psychosis might be serious mental illness. It could be substance-induced psychosis. So for all of you out there that are using narcotics and THC, if you carry a gene that makes you susceptible to serious mental illness, you're more likely to uh, have serious mental illness induced, and sometimes it's not reversible. I'm treating mental illness we see day in and day out. The executive director of Silence is Violence says this is welcome news as crime grows and treatment is downsized. For years, we've been inundated with mental health patients not having resources, not having a place for proper treatment and quality care. They stress that accountability for crimes will not go away, but it is hoped that recidivism will. People that have broken the law should be dealt with. But then once they've paid their debt to society, we have to make a way to make sure they don't live a life of crime. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Suicide prevention will also be part of the mental health court treatment.